Saved or spared? You're not going to be saved. You're not going to be spared. Just like the rest of us. Even if you leave heirs. Even if you leave heirs, even if you leave instructions. Even if you donate your papers, we're all going in the oven. We're all going in the oven and leaving the world as steam. Leaving behind our bones as cinder. A cloud of dust on a field in a stream. A cloud of dust on a field in a stream. Settling out and filtering down, almost inert, elemental powder for all the world like chalk or chowder. For all the world like chalk or chowder, nameless, blameless, mute, forsaken, going where the weather takes you, to the ocean and the great salt shaker. To the ocean and the great salt shaker, slowly washed to a coral reef, the living rock absorbs your calcium. You rise from the sea floor in a red castle. You rise from the sea floor in a red castle, crenellated, ventilated, gnarled, and faded, to be broken off by a trophy diver to sit on a mantle in the Bahamas. To sit on a mantle in the Bahamas and gather dust and all that settles, flakes of skin and earthen dander, clogging your pores, spoiling your grandeur. Clogging your pores and spoiling your grandeur until your owner gives you the sideways gander, gives you a scrubbing and lets you dry out. He puts you in a fish tank for a tryout. He puts you in a fish tank for a tryout. He likes the way you look with the fish and the plastic seaweed. And you stay for 20 years until the day you get thrown out. They sold you with the house, but first they pulled the pump out. But first they pulled the pump out, and you sat in the still water. The fish all died one by one, neglected by the daughter. Neglected by the daughter, the saddest way to go. Hungry in dirty water, scale and bones, muck and disorder. Scale and bones, muck and disorder. A primordial soup frothing over. Life begets death, and the dead feed the living. It's been this way since the beginning. And a good night.